Hey everyone, welcome back to Shinaza's Life, your source for all things beauty, lifestyle, fashion, content creation, and so much more. If this is your first time tuning into my channel, I first off want to say thank you so much for tuning in. And secondly, I want to welcome you. If you're a returning subscriber, I want to go ahead and say welcome back. So y'all, as the title suggests, today we're going to go ahead and get into my 2020 favorites. And this is going to cover all things ranging from beauty, to skin care, to body care, to even hair care. So first up, let's go ahead and get into my favorite skincare products of the year. Would this really be a 2020 favorites video if I did not include this product? Y'all know that this first aid beauty face cleanser is my like holy grail product when it comes to skincare. I use this literally every single day of 2020. Like not a day went by when I did not have this product in stock. I feel like it's been my staple since 2018. Actually, I got it from Christmas from my sister back then. And it's just such a good deep cleaner, especially when it comes to, you know, taking off makeup or just taking off what the day has put on and just being refreshing in the morning too. I find that it doesn't leave my skin feeling too dry or anything like that. And the price point is great too, because this bottle right here is actually $21. And on average, this bottle probably lasts me like, I wanna say two and a half months. So when you look at it like that, it's like, yes, it's more expensive than the average face wash, but the amount that I use it, the fact that I use it both day and night, and it still lasts like two and a half months, I feel like, you know, this is why I stand First Aid Beauty. I stand this product. So if y'all seeing this, you know. <laughs> Next up, y'all, we have another First Aid Beauty product, and that is the Ultra Repair Cream. Y'all, this is such a hydrating moisturizer. I love it so, so much because it's like thick, but it's not too thick to the point where it feels like it's overcrowding your skin. But along with this First Aid Beauty cleanser, like these two products are products that I literally use on a daily basis. And again, especially during these winter months too, I found that, you know, sticking to my skincare routine and even just applying extra of this has kept my skin feeling so hydrated, so moisturized in both the daytime and both at the nighttime. Next up for skin, if you can't tell from this bottle, this was super goop, but um, yeah, it's, it's an old bottle, but this is a bottle that has lasted. I'm someone who emphasizes the use of sunscreen every day. And again, black people, if you watching this, just because you black don't mean that you don't need sunscreen. In fact, the UV rays in the winter, they be there still. So it's important to use sunscreen every day. And as you can see, I literally, this is another product that I've been using all 2020, even if I'm just going out on a walk, or if I'm just going, you know, out to the store, whatever the case may be, or even if I'm sitting by an open window, you can always catch me using this super goop. And one of the best things about this product too is that there's no white cast because I know that that's something that, you know, especially as brown black people, that's something that we have to consider, but there's absolutely no white cast with this. So I would definitely recommend it. This is another thing that even though it is more on the pricey side, it lasts so long. This bottle in particular, I last bought in September. As y'all can tell, it's now December. So again, this is another product that lasts about two months. So it's definitely worth the investment. Next up, I wanna go ahead and move on to my favorite body care products of 2020. So something that's always been important to me is having a self-care routine and especially the way that 2020 has been like i feel like i've done more self-care this year than i ever have in my life and honestly these body care products were able to help me do so having these products and enhancing the bath experience just like seriously was able to boost my mood on so many different occasions and you know they smell real good too so let's go ahead and see what products i'm talking about y'all this tree hut vitamin c shea sugar scrub is like the truth because not only hold on i gotta just smell this real quick because mm. just even smelling this already just makes me feel so relaxed makes me feel so at peace like i feel like this product alone was able to just elevate my shower experience elevate my bath experience to the next level because exfoliating is something that you kind of do when you have time for, you know? I feel like I was always the type to be like, oh, like I'm trying to be in the shower, trying to be out the shower. But the days where I actually take time to exfoliate, where I actually take time to do these things and just pour into myself and essentially just take more time to myself, like, thank you, Tree Hut, because otherwise, without you, I would have been taking my quick, quick showers. But honestly, like having something like an exfoliant was able to allow me to just be more present in the moment. So I'm really grateful that I was able to add that into my body care routine, thus, you know, making it get onto this list because 
Now I'm exfoliating like two, three times a week. Like I'm taking those longer showers and I'm just, you know, being more relaxed, being more present and honestly just allowing myself to, you know, have a grand old time when it comes to the shower and just take care of myself. So when it comes to baths, another product that I literally use for every bath, y'all, is this Dr. Teal's Lavender Foaming Bath. And y'all already know how I feel about this product. I feel like I'm always tagging them over on Instagram, but I just can't get over how good this stuff is at helping you feel at ease, at helping you feel relaxed. And y'all, I've fallen asleep in the tub on multiple occasions just using this. So just know this, this is if you're trying to be relaxed, if you're trying to feel all loose and all that good stuff, definitely check out this product. And it's really inexpensive too. I believe this bottle is only like $6 and this is something that will probably take me about three months to finish. Y'all, another body care item that I just have to shout out is actually also from Dr. Teal's and that is their eucalyptus body oil. Y'all, this is another thing that's similar to the Shea Sugar Scrub from Tree Hut. That basically, I'm not using this every single day, but the days that I do, it's just, ooh, it smells so good. It's so relaxing. It helps me feel so like... Mm, this just locks in the moisture and it's not that type of oil that leaves you feeling like super oily super greasy I feel like it just coats your skin like perfectly and again just soaks in that moisture and the smell is just so calming So I even love to do this in the mornings like if I'm just having a slow morning Being able to put on this oil literally can change the trajectory of my day because you're just smelling that eucalyptus You're just feeling calm and relaxed and again, this is at a great price point of like $5, so why not go ahead and get you some? Another body care product that I just have to shout out is this Lil Electric Shaver. Y'all, I got this from Dollar Tree for like $5, and when I tell you that it's been a lifesaver, I use this to touch up my eyebrows, I use it to shave off little mustache hair, I use it to shave my face hair. Y'all know, y'all know how it is. I, I don't know, I'm just very exact with not liking hair on my face. But the point is that this is so inexpensive for $5, the fact that it's able to do so much. It has a two-sided blade. I usually use this side, but what more can you ask for, seriously? Y'all know I wasn't gonna talk about body care favorites and not talk about this right here. My Nivea lotion, y'all. This lotion, this is the best lotion I've ever used in my life. Like it's one of those lotions that doesn't feel too heavy. It doesn't feel too watery either. It doesn't feel too sticky. Like I've never really had a lotion that I could put on as much as I want and it still just dissolves into my skin perfectly. And then I could put on a pair of jeans and not feel like the jeans are wet or sticky or gross or anything like that. Especially on my shoot days, this lotion has always come in clutch because y'all know I'd be changing clothes. I be changing shoes, I don't want no ashy ankles, elbows, nothing, none of that, and this lotion has got me covered. Y'all, I've been using this all year and I literally have zero complaints. I actually just re-upped and this is actually hurting my arm from being heavy. So this is a little workout holding it up, but this is a great price point as well. And last up for my body care products is a product that I've been standing for years. I don't think that I will ever change up my deodorant and that is my Dove Original Clean Deodorant, y'all. What can I say? I don't be sweating, and when I do, it don't be smelling, and you know why? This Dove right here, period. That's all, that's all. The time has come to move on to my favorite hair care products of 2020, and y'all, y'all know that I started off 2020 with that low cut, all that good stuff, with the blonde, everything like that. But after dyeing my hair back black and you know just wanting to be more intentional about my hair care with these products i was able to do exactly that and more i feel like these products have helped me so much in my natural hair journey especially just you know actually wanting to grow it out versus just cutting 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 like i feel like i've relearned how to take care of my hair and with these products specifically formulated for my hair type especially I've just been loving the ability to switch up my styles, knowing that these products are going to take me there effortlessly. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with this Miel Pomegranate and Honey Moisturizing and Detangling Shampoo. Y'all, I have, all I gotta say is I never used a shampoo like this before because most of the time shampoos will leave your hair feeling like dry and brittle and like stripped of all its essential oils and all that stuff. But this is actually a detangling shampoo. Like I can put this shampoo in my hair and be able to like sift my fingers through my hair with ease. I've never had something like that before. 
It doesn't feel like my hair is about to rip and it smells so, so good. And especially just knowing that it's specifically formulated for 4C hair. Y'all, I even just re-upped and all that good stuff, but this is my go-to shampoo for 2020. When it comes to conditioner, we have a winner in Miel again. So also from the same line, the pomegranate and honey line. And similar to the shampoo, it is so moisturizing, so detangling. And I've even ran out of deep conditioner before and used this in place and it worked great. So I love that it's like multi-use, multi-purpose. And again, the smell, the price point, all that good stuff. Because one thing about Miel, y'all, is that you just gotta wait for the sale because I got all of my products this year, each product for like $6 when it's usually double that price. So, you know, just look out for the sales and all that good stuff. Another hair product that I've been loving that also happens to be from Miel is their Babasu and Mint Deep Conditioner. Y'all, I believe I've talked about this in a video before, but this deep conditioner literally like tingles on your scalp and like it smells like amazing like i love deep conditioning for the simple fact that i get to feel this tingle on my scalp all night and that when i just wake up and when i rinse it out the smell is just so invigorating and of course it leaves my hair feeling so soft so moisturized and so ready to go ahead and style and all that good stuff so quality products right here Y'all know that I have been twist out mommy and braid out mommy and all that good stuff in 2020. And one of my favorite products to use when I am doing a twist out, when I am doing a braid out, or even when I'm slicking down my hair has been this Jamaican mango and lime curling jello, y'all. Like, especially when it comes to my finger coils, like when I use this product, like it, it literally defined like so easily. Gels can be so, so heavy or so sticky but this dries like perfectly overnight and it doesn't leave my hair feeling too crinkly or too wet or anything like that. So I really love using this when it comes to all of my natural hairstyles. The last hair product fave of 2020 is this Jamaican mango and lime castor oil in the lemongrass scent and y'all, Woo, just even me smelling it right now, like I'm just looking at it, looking at me, looking at it, looking at me. This is also one of my favorite parts when it comes to hair care. Just being able to take that time to oil my scalp, that's something that I'm doing more frequently now, so probably like three to four times a week. I'm just oiling my scalp and just massaging this in and smelling it and feeling so relaxed. And yeah, guys, you have to smell this. I'm telling you, you're going to want to be massaging your scalp every single day, okay? So y'all, we are now moving on to the last section of my 2020 favorites, which is going to be my favorite makeup products of the year. So um, if you guys can't tell, I just think that, you know, during this lockdown period, during this quarantine COVID period and all that, I've been bored in the house, bored in the house, bored, and I've taken it upon myself to learn quite a few things when it comes to makeup. And honestly, I feel like if you look at my makeup from this time last year and you compare it to now, like there's so much that I've learned how to do. So one of the most obvious things that I've started doing in 2020 is wearing eyelashes. Y'all, I used to be terrified of putting eyelashes on. I used to think that, you know, lashes were a lost cause for me until I discovered this brand mink obsession y'all i love their lashes i have two pairs and i have one pair that's like i've been obsessing over and you've seen me take it in almost kind of all of my photos for instagram but y'all these lashes are bomb and honestly like just seeing like how confident i became in doing my lashes and doing my makeup in general once i added on lashes specifically these ones like i have to stand because they literally changed the way that i look at lashes changed my whole makeup look really and yeah i am in need of a new pair so i'm gonna go ahead and order that after this video next up another product that has transformed my makeup routine as well is concealing y'all i was not really concealing like ever really before or if i was the color was so similar to my foundation that it didn't kind of really make a difference but I have started using concealer more and more often in my makeup routine and the product to credit is this LA Girl Pro concealer and y'all already know that you know this is really cheap really inexpensive only like three four five dollars max at your beauty supply store at Ulta wherever so yeah using this has elevated my makeup game and I'm really just thankful that you know I took the time to take that extra step because I always used to do my makeup and be like, hmm, it feels like something's missing. I don't know. And honestly, guys, it's 
it's this. It, it just is. And I cannot talk about my concealer without talking about what I'm doing on top of that and below that and all of that good stuff. And that is my Sasha Buttercup setting powder, y'all. Like, I think that this product, like, without this, I don't know where I would be. I really don't. Like, as you can see, I have used this up well past its limit, but I feel like I'm gonna use it until it's at the very bottom. But this product has just been so good, especially with just helping with creasing, helping with, you know, not having as much shine. Cause y'all know I got oily skin, so I'm just really happy that I found a product that actually just works with my makeup routine. So next up, we have a product that's pretty new to my roster, but honestly, I've already noticed a change when it comes to my makeup as I've been using this product more and more, and that is this NYX Cosmetics Buffing Brush. I've primarily been using this to kind of blend out the setting powder that I put in or to kind of dab it on and really just using it for that purpose or even just, you know, blending out different parts of my face. And I find that I don't know what it is, it's the fibers or something, whatever's in this brush, it just blends things out so smoothly. And I feel like it gives me that like flawless airbrush look that I've kind of been looking for for the longest time. So shout out to NYX for this brush. Y'all know I'm a lip gloss girl and I feel like even though we've been in the house and even though we've been wearing masks and all that good stuff, one thing about me is I'm gonna still wear my lip gloss even if it's under the mask and I think that uh, my ColourPop has like to, you know, it would like to enter the chat because as you can see, I have completely annihilated this bottle. But this is the ColourPop So Juicy or was, it's still in there. I feel like I'm the type to use my products until the end, but this is the ColourPop So Juicy lip gloss and I also have it in a different shade too. But as you can see, the clear gloss has gotten its best because I've loved just like lining my lips and then going ahead and putting a clear gloss over. That's kind of been my go-to during the whole pandemic. And then this is a type of gloss where it's thick, but it's not like sticky thick, if that makes sense. Y'all probably know, lip gloss wearers, y'all know. But I feel like this has been the perfect consistency and this bottle was $8. However, I bought that back in like March and I still haven't finished it. So even though, yeah, it's more expensive than, you know, getting a $1, $2 one at the beauty supply store, it lasts so long, it's worth it, especially if you're an avid lip gloss wearer like myself. And for days where I'm wanting kind of a little bit more color, such as today, y'all already know what my go-to is, and that is the NYX Ginger Snap Butter Gloss Lip Gloss which I love, which I stand, which I just ordered like five more of just so that I can be stocked up for the next few months. I just love, you know, having multiple ones, have one for the car. I literally have one for the car now. Like it's that serious. I'll have one for the car, one for my bag, one for the bathroom, one for my makeup stand. Like it's a lot, but y'all know I love this product. I feel like this is the perfect shade for brown girls and our lips to have that perfect nude tone. That's the color that I'm wearing right now. So y'all already know the vibes when it comes to me and this butter gloss. Eyeshadow has been something that I've been loving more and more this year. And thanks to the Juvia's Place Masquerade Mini Palette, I've been able to do just that, create so many looks. And usually for my go-to look, I go ahead and go in with, woo. And if you can't tell by, you know, all the little dents in it, I go ahead and use that brown Fulani shade, like literally like all the time. Even today, I kind of used it just slightly, slightly, even though I was going more for a color, I used it as a base. So I've just been loving playing in all these colors. And the fact that this is always so pigmented, like, it can't be beat. So I love using my Juvia's Place. I literally have like three of their palettes, but this palette definitely has been my favorite one out of 2020. So y'all, the last makeup product and the last product in general that I would like to highlight for my 2020 favorites is no other than the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation right here. Y'all already know, again, this is a product that I've literally been using since I was in college and this foundation is just like the perfect amount of coverage. I love how, again, it's a drop foundation. I feel like I never waste any product when it comes to this. I've gone through two bottles of this this year and I also just restocked, I just ordered three more. But I love the coverage on this. I love that I can wear this in both the summer and I can wear it in the winter, I can wear it in the fall. I literally can wear it all seasons. I love how it's buildable. You already know this is just my go-to when it comes to foundation and the fact that it's been able to, you know, stay in my routine for so long and just grow with me through my makeup journey and the fact that it's just still the perfect foundation for me. 
I can't do anything else with Stan. And the price point, y'all, it's only $14. And again, like basically one bottle will be lasting six months. So y'all, that brings me to the end of this video. I hope that you were able to enjoy. Definitely let me know down below what products you're gonna go ahead and check out. Or if you're already using some of these products in your routine already, definitely let me know what they are. If you're not yet subscribed to my channel, I mean, you watched up until this point, right? You might as well go ahead and click that subscribe button. Also, when you're doing so, don't forget to go ahead and click that bell to turn on the post notifications so that you can be notified when I am posting a new video. If you're not following me over on Instagram, over on Twitter, over on Pinterest, over on TikTok, over on Clubhouse, and soon to come other other things, but you know, we're not there yet. You can go ahead and find me on all of those platforms over at Chinaza's Life. And as 2020 closes out, y'all, I just want to thank you all so much for the constant support, for constantly showing up, for constantly showing out, and for just, you know, making it through the year. I feel like a lot of the times people are finding pressure when it comes to the end of the year, being like, oh, what did I accomplish? What did I do? What didn't I do? Now, while it's good to reflect on the good so that you can improve for the future, I just want you to know that you making it through this year as like crazy as it was, that was enough on its own. So just be proud of the fact that you made it to this point and that you have so much further to go. And y'all know I cannot close out 2020 without giving y'all my little, my little jingle. And that's all I got for today, y'all. 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 Hey, hey, hey. Again, thank you guys so much for staying tuned with me. Stay blessed, stay safe, stay prayed up. And I'll see you back for my next one in 2021. In 2021. All right, for real though, I'll see y'all. Bye.